So today I'm gonna cook supper. Tipper's busy with Granny helping her and been real busy, so I thought I'd help her out and I'm gonna cook supper. And we're gonna have some fresh deer meat and some pickle beans and corn and some soupy potatoes and some cornbread. And this deer is one I killed day before yesterday. It's been an ice box. I like to age it a few days if I can. It's been in there for a couple of days just to keep the ice rotated on it. Just ice and salt. And I like to let it go, you know, four, five, six days if I can. But we usually, I like to get the tenderloin or part of the tenderloin out and eat it before it's ever frozen or processed a different way or whatever because it's still got that fresh taste and it's still really, really good. And Katie really likes it, so I like to cook it that way for her. So. We're going to get started cleaning the meat. I'm going to get all this, this white uh, silver skin and connective tissue out of it and get it down to the red meat. I mean, this stuff makes it taste bad and it's also, you can't even chew it. <laughs> so I always get it all, every bit of it off. This is a deer that I killed the day before yesterday morning in Georgia. It was a seven point. wasn't a really big deer, it was a big body deer, but it wasn't, you know, horns wasn't real big, but that ain't why I do it anyway. I do it for this right here. All right, once I get the meat sliced and tenderized, then I'm just going to drop it in a Ziploc bag full of flour with a little seasoning. I like to put garlic powder and garlic salt. I don't measure anything. I just eyeball it and some black pepper. And then I'll drop the little pieces of meat in there and toss it around to get them all covered, and then we'll put it in the pan. A lot of different ways to do this too. What I'm going to do is put these pieces in a pieces of meat in a gallon freezer bag and then beat them with an ice cream scoop and kind of tenderize them a little bit and then I'll drop them in a bag of flour to coat them and then from there they'll go in the pan. So there's all kinds of different ways of doing this. A lot of people actually have a meat tenderizer, but we do not. So this right here works for me. And from there, it goes into the bag of flour. I'm just cutting these up in big chunks. I'm going to put some water in them and boil them down. Sometimes I'll put a big chunk of butter in there with them and mash them up. And sometimes I don't. Just what everybody wants. Yeah, these are potatoes that we grew. I'm about to get down to the end of them. But these are ones we grew ourselves. On the back now we're gonna make a little cake of cornbread. 
Perhaps that is him. Yeah, so I put a little bit of salt on meal, egg and milk together and I'm stir it up and that's going to be our cornbread. This is really different for me to be on this side. Usually it's Matt fixing his plate, but tonight it's gonna to be me fixing mine. Okay, get me some cornbread. I think I'm gonna, I usually put my beans or whatever on it, but tonight I'm gonna to put my soupy taters on it. Mm. Put them right on it. I need to get me another spoon. Hold that. I'm gonna get some of the the tater juice. Give me some of this wonderful fresh meat. Mm. And some of Papa's pickled beans and corn. Looks like it's gonna be a feast.